describe the emotions, the ebbs and flows of you know being hopeful and then having a dash. Oh, you mean over in New York? I thought you yeah. been in this locker room. Wow, this is pretty yeah. serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun. It was well. It was. Thanks. It was emotional. It was optimistic. Thanks, guys. And then it was uh, it turned to frustration at the end. And, you know, I'm still. I'm so, so, Hopefully, we're going to get a deal. We are closer. You know, put it in both sides. Say it. You know, we are closer to a deal. Uh, we just, you know, we just couldn't get it done. Mm -hmm. The three or four days that we spent there. You know, something that we, uh, it's frustrating for everyone, but obviously, especially for them. Sean, you hear Gary say there's no drop dead date as far as negotiations go, but then he also says, well, you know, 48 game season would be a small. So that yeah. kind of gives you an idea of where yeah, we're at. Yeah, obviously. Right? Yeah. Like, you know, I just. Man, I, 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 there's just not much Thanks. time left here. Thanks, guys. Max a month or something or, or so just to, you know, to get those, those games in. Yeah. But, um, you know, it, it's, it, it is still a long ways away. You know, we are yeah. around a time that's a long ways away, and I hope after a couple of days of boxing for us to prevail and we get back at it. What do you, why are you optimistic then? Did well, because we're closer. We, we made progress. It wasn't like we're farther apart. We made progress towards. Uh, you know, towards a deal on the key issues, we're just not there yet. And, you know, like I said, hopefully, it's, you know, after a couple of days, we can get back at it. I think the best thing, the worst thing, would be to take time off and not meet. And I think the yeah. best thing is just to get you got to get in there. I mean, we, you know, especially with someone being in there, you can you know, one, some, one minute, some guys. talks go good and some talks go bad. But at the same time, you're always you know you're figuring things out. You're trying new ideas. What works, what doesn't work, and you're moving forward. So, would you say the length of the maximum, or the longest, you know, the five-year deal is that the biggest sticking point you think? Uh, yeah, both we, sides? You know, we we moved up to to, to, to an eight-year deal. So, you know, I think we're, we're not really that far apart. They want ten, uh, the eight-year option. We want eight with the six-year option. So it's not that far. I'm talking about the length of a player's contract. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, you know, for us, for, for us, it's. You know, we just feel like in a lot of ways, especially with the five percent variation, that can really eliminate the middle class. And, you know, and we, we, we can't figure out why teams wouldn't want to sign their best players to longer than five or seven years. We think that you know, that's why we came back with eight and eight. We didn't think it was unreasonable. We think eight was uh, was too long of a deal. The problem with uh, you know they, they had mentioned us. They did come our way on some issues, but they'd also mentioned us as the four issues that uh, they had no room on. You know, it was a take it or leave it. But, you know, the problem is that those four issues are, are big issues for us also. So. When Bill says that. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, John.